Christians. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and chapter 9 really are a, a basis for much we teach about um, this matter of faith, promise, missions. And I gave you just a few points on um, Friday night, looking at verse 1, he said this, Moreover, brethren, we do you to wit of the grace of God. Excuse me, we do you to wit of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia. How that in great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded under the riches of their liberality. For to their power I bear record, yea, and beyond their power they were willing of themselves. And um, we um, started through this just outline from, from this, this book. And there we go. I talked about just the tabernacle of witness and it's nothing new. And I'm going to skip through that. that um, um, there, oh, there we go. That's where I wanted to be. Verse 1, we looked at their, their provision. He said that, their, their provision was the grace of God. He said, we, do you, we, we want you to understand the grace of God. And um, as I said to you the other night, the grace of God is not only what God provides for us in salvation, but it's God's grace. He's the God of all grace, and he gives grace for every aspect of life. One thing I didn't put on that sheet, I gave you, Miss Olivia, Olivia, if we wanted to talk about it. It doesn't fit in the um, acrostic I gave, but... Um, um, one thing that God also provides when that time gets here is he provides dying grace. Have you ever watched someone who, um, whose time had come and just peacefully steps out into eternity? There's no screaming and wailing and crying, just a, a 